this is so controversial. It's gonna, people are gonna just disbelieve everything I say. Warning. You're watching Dr. Todd Lee TV, where theoretically you could learn a bunch of cool shit. And people are gonna shit their pants when they hear me say this. I'm just gonna read you the script that I wrote. I'm normally an ad lib guy. I'm a lot more fun that way, but I don't wanna miss any details and I don't wanna present the information out of order. So I wanna get this knocked out correctly. So do I need to have my blood drained? Bleeding and modern ignorance. Phlebotomy is the practice of bleeding a patient. This was done in primitive times because of modern medical ignorance. Many bodybuilders got this done because they are told by their inept doctors this is important. This belief is based on the wrong patient population. Old people with a ton of risk factors can have heart attacks and strokes. Thus, thick blood is a problem. The, the solution would be phlebotomy. However, phlebotomy drives up EPO, erythropoietin, which thus causes the bone marrow to produce more red blood cells. This, there, this is based on the article Blood Donation and Testosterone Replacement Therapy, Benjamin Chin et al. This link will be in the description box. Now, on from another article, Testosterone Therapy and Secondary Erythrocytosis, a meta-analysis, that despite the use of phlebotomy, the evidence for secondary polycythemia causing harm during testosterone therapy is scarce. And the hematocrit cutoffs presented in multiple guidelines appear to be arbitrary. What that means is... When your doctor says your values are too high, we're going to have you donate blood. It's not based off of science. It's based off of fear. It has, and then the point at which the guideline is set is just made up. It has no science to back it up that the bodybuilders or HRT patients who use flip, um, testosterone therapy and have thick blood have had no real statistical evidence to suggest that they are at risk for anything. And thus, it's just made up. It's because old people with thick blood who also have clogged arteries and also have um, septal defects and also have this and also have that tend to have strokes. And having thromboembolisms in that population is common. That's not us. So this is something that you might wanna consider. If you're a bodybuilder, you need your blood to carry oxygen when you lift. That's what red blood cells do. Some people don't know that, that they don't know that red blood cells are your oxygen carrying capacity. So giving away red blood cells is like changing the oxygen level of the air. Just like if you go to Denver or sleep in a hyperbaric chamber, it's going to improve your ability. The reason you go to Denver is because it's got thin air, so your body makes more red blood cells so that when you come back to sea level, you're a better athlete. It's like you are already advantaged in this regard. You already have super thick blood with all these amazing red blood cells. You're just going to fucking piss them down the drain because some stupid fuck tells you to, and he has no idea what he's talking about. Oh, yeah, a lot of people who are watching this, it's like they may not be able to read. So here at the bottom, it says MD. That means medical doctor. And unlike them, I'm an IFBB pro, which means I actually know what the fuck I'm talking about. They don't. If they did, they wouldn't look like that. They'd have to use a white coat to cover up so that the white coat gives them credibility. I don't have to wear a white coat because I have credibility. I look like I know what I'm talking about. Plus, it's like the point of a white coat is to prevent blood piss puke and shit from getting on your dress clothes because you leave the hospital in them nobody brings their white coat home with them so all those fucking assholes who are on television or on the internet wearing a white coat while they're doing a podcast or doing a, one of these videos is an asshole because it's a costume he that isn't real that isn't what he wears when he works same thing with scrub tops motherfuckers don't come from surgery and then come immediately to give you a video about testosterone and he's like it's a costume he's a con man
All right, so I'd like to thank our sponsor, Fusion Regenerative Therapies, where I am the Director of Human Performance. This is the practice in which I practice medicine. I uh, will be able to order you blood work and read your blood work and help you with therapy as needed based upon the results of your blood work. Please click the link to get a consult with me and I can help you optimize your performance. Thank you. Outwards will pull your HRT if you go over the cutoff points, whereas more sophisticated doctors like me have tools to lower these values, such as non-kosher anabolics, which are friendlier than testosterone. So what are these cutoffs? So these arbitrary cutoffs, as per the 2022 article I already mentioned, meta-analysis, they looked at hundreds of articles and came up with this conclusion. And the conclusion is these people don't know what the fuck they're talking about and there's no evidence this needs to be done. And that what these cutoffs are is 54 and 18.5 for hematocrit and hemoglobin respectively. So if you're over 54, they just stop giving you HRT and then make you drain, drain your blood. And then you make more red blood cells anyway. And I don't know about you, but my blood's expensive. I put a lot of money into my blood. So it's like, you're just pissing money away. So these cowards, they pull your HRT. So they're hurting you because they want to cover their ass because they don't really know, but the guidelines are, if it's over 54, you pull your blood. So, and then you pull the drugs. And so they just fuck you over because they want to cover their ass. So testosterone, oh yeah. So if you don't know what your blood values are, that's where you get a consult with me and I will order your blood work. I will interpret it correctly. And rather than just pull your meds and fuck you over or have you get blood like it's the 1840s with the leeches, I'm going to actually prescribe medication to prevent the problem. It could reduce the testosterone load so we have the minimal amount of DHT and estrogen for your health, and then use something else like Nandrolone, which is prescription, or Masteron or Primo, which are kind of better, but they're underground, just to show you how corrupt the healthcare system is in America, that the good drugs are illegal, but the not so good drugs are the legal ones. The other things that you can do is Telmasartan and other ARBs, that's angiotensin receptor blockers, are great for lowering hematocrit and hemoglobin. That's something that we can do in case your levels are high, but we don't want to stop treatment. Also, there's some dietary interventions. We can make sure your iron content is under eight milligrams a day, that the nutrition support that we have is with Dr. Krina Dodson. She's absolutely brilliant. She never fucks up. She's one of the smartest people, if not the smartest person I've ever met. And I guarantee you she's smarter than the entire hospital that you go to, let alone your doctor. And she will figure out exactly how much iron is in all your food. And then you'll be getting less than eight milligrams. And there's iron hidden in everything. There's iron hidden in the orange box of cream of rice. There's iron hidden in jet in rice. Um, that if you get the rice imported from Thailand, for instance, I get mine from Costco, Kirkland brand Thai rice, Thai jasmine rice has no iron in it. Also, um, if you do not have a CPAP, that's something really important because if you're not oxygenating properly, your body makes more red blood cells to carry more oxygen because you don't get enough oxygen coming in. It's having sleep apnea is kind of like living in Denver that you, and so you adjust by producing more red blood cells. So think about how stupid that would be if some athlete went to Denver to be the best athlete they could possibly be. And then they gave the blood away and then de defeated the entire fucking purpose of moving to Denver. So for those of us who can't afford to go to Denver, we don't need to because we are readier on HRT or testosterone from anabolics and bodybuilding cycles. So we already have thicker blood. So we already get the advantage of superhuman endurance. You've heard that EQ makes horses win races. That's why it's called EQ is equa. Poise. Equine is horses. So boldenone is the name of the real compound. It's given to horses. So the street name is EQ or equipoise so that horses win races. How do they win races? They have more oxygen carrying capacity in their blood. What is, what, 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 what? EQ drives up red blood cell reduction. That's what it's for. That's why they give it to horses. So it wins the race. 
Do you want to win the race or do you want to lose the race? Give your blood away. Go ahead. Lose races. And it's like people are like, why are you so bitter? I'm not mad at you. I'm irritated how fucking often I have to try to explain to people that's nonsense. They gave leeching pa patients is something we should have stopped 800, 100 years ago. That there's no reason to be using leeches on patients in 2023. This isn't 1850s. It's not like someone's got a fever. We should leech them. Someone's got this. We should leech them. We, someone's got this. We should leech them. They're still doing it, and they're doing it to you. And you guys are falling for it because of their white coats. They've got these little costumes that make them look smart. They don't say anything smart. They're like, I don't really like these values. We're going to take your blood and flush it on the toilet. Okay, you're the doctor, so you must know what you're talking about because of the white coat. If they were wearing a tank top and you saw how shitty they looked, then you'd be like, I don't know if I want to take health advice from this fat fuck. Now, there are people who need to have their blood drawn. I'm not saying, like, if you have a 60, that you should just, like, we shouldn't do that. I'm saying that for those of you who are under 54 and under 18.5, and you're getting your blood drawn, and you're not, you have no risk factors, which you may not know, but I'll know, that it, it's inappropriate, and he's just covering his ass. If you're someone who's at 57 or 19, then yeah, maybe drawing your blood is, and it gets you below 18.5. If it gets you below 54 and you stay there, it's working for you. And that's fine. We can, and we can go that route. It's not like I'm saying I would never help you get phlebotomy. I'm saying that I don't think that it's done correctly. And here's my evidence is that in a 2022 study, it shows that there's really no evidence that we should be doing this. And the other study shows that this is kind of pointless because your blood cells come right back and that the cutoffs are arbitrary. They're not based off of any type of scientific investigation. I know you're thinking, why have you repeated yourself so many times? Because most people need to hear something three times. And this is a fucking big deal. This is like hearing that we never landed on the moon or this is like finding out that JFK was killed by the FBI or the CIA. This is like finding out that Pfizer's not your friend, you know, like this, there's a lot of conspiracy theories that are completely fucking true. And this is going to be perceived as one of them is like, look at this asshole. He, he doesn't have a white coat on and he's telling me not to listen to my doctor who has a white coat. It's like, motherfucker, I will buy a white coat and I will put it on. I'll get stitched on it. Some bullshit like greatest doctor of the Mayo Clinic and Harvard. Like you can get all that shit made. It doesn't make it real. That you can't get made. The one above it, you can't get made. These you can't, well, I guess you could have those made, but those were earned too. So the trophies and diplomas are real, just like the attitude. I know I've repeated myself several times. And again, third time's the charm. I'm repeating myself because you need it to sink into your head. And most people don't absorb information the first time they hear it. They have to hear it three times. So I'm saying it three times right now for that reason. So you don't have to watch this video three times. You can watch it one time and get it all information you need. Go to the description box, click the link for the link tree, click the consult. I will do your blood work. I will help you. We will get your blood in order. If you're not sure, do it anyway so that you don't have to worry about it. If your doctor tells you that he has to draw, give, have you give blood, don't argue with him. Just come to me. I'm going to be better. As far as if you don't believe me, check out those links, read those articles. They're awesome. That's where I got a lot of this information from. Not these studies, not my cantankerous attitude and not my opinions. Just so you don't think that I'm coming up with this my own. And the code TOD5 will get you a discount at J3U. Make sure to like and subscribe to this bullshit and send this to a friend. Send it to your doctor. Send it to the asshat who's having you do blood draws. I'm going to let you go. Live long and prosper. Uh, uh, I'm going to have to do it the same. There you go. Dr. Spock here. Over and out. Oh, that's not a touch screen. That's my computer. Uh, it's not a touch screen. Now, just the rain.